What's going on there, citizens of the Reject Nation? We are going to do a first time watching for a movie I've been clamoring to see for a very long time, and that is called Jennifer's Body. I am rejoined by the world girl herself, Roxy the Stryer. Roxy, how are you? Wow, I got a the. I like that. Only yeah. big people get thes. Yeah. The Stryer. The Stryer, you're a big person today. Huge. 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 Anyway... Jennifer's body, you have not seen this movie, right? No, and honestly, I don't think I ever lie about having seen movies, but I think I've been lying about having seen this movie for years because it's just so not cool to have not seen it. Uh, that yes. people just kind of pester you if you say you haven't yes. seen this. So people will be like, oh, you've seen it? I'm like, oh, it's dope. <laughs> <laughs> I never saw it. Sweet. Welcome to the Not Cool Club. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please go ahead. Use your body to maneuver your way to that like button. See how I did that? Also, you'd be a real fucks if you can subscribe and, leave and click that notification bell. I fumbled the delivery there. It's and, good. and uh, you know, um, we have Patreon. <laughs> we got full length ranch and watch alongs. Resync up with your own copy of Jennifer's Body. We're watching this off Hippo Max today. Cover several things exclusively over there with reaction highlights and watch alongs included. More importantly, if you want her to come back, you got to follow her on the world, girls. That's the only compromise we have made today. Oh, yeah, we shook on it. So this will be awkward if you guys don't hook it up. She needs, she needs at least five followers. I think we can accomplish that. <laughs> I'm counting slowly over my tears. One. All right. Two. Three. Don't make me keep going. Four. Five. Roll that intro. Disney. Disney's Jennifer's Body. <laughs> <laughs> the family classic. I love how we chose this movie today. Could have done a much bigger movie, but we went with Jennifer's Body. <laughs> She got like a hole in her arm? What's going on there? Uh, like a burn, maybe? Mm. Oh, I hate that. Just chewing her hair? Oh, I hate that. The little kids do that. I hate, <laughs> I hate that. Wow, we're only five seconds in. What pretty font. It might be a rom-com. Fallout Boy. Hello. Yeah, yeah, I see you wanted to touch. That's a good Not this show. <laughs> Not touching this show. What the hell? <laughs> Oh, is this like... Hell is a teenage girl. We're, we're in the future? I guess I'm not exactly perfect myself. But at least I have my fans. That's how Roxy says <laughs> on Twitter. That's Amanda Seyfried speaking right now? Yeah. I mean, I get letters every day. Mostly from perverts and chesters, but still. This is my floor. I'm kind of the shit. Get it, queen. <laughs> Rec time started five minutes ago, Needy. Gracias, Raimondo. I used to make these. Oh, so you really are her. They tell me everything will be okay if I just accept Jesus Christ into my heart. That's true. He was a Jew. I say the words, but nothing ever happens. Nobody comes back. It's because you gotta believe. I've been trying to convert this one for ages. Well, those JV tactics won't work against me. Her first name is Needy. I'm a kicker. I'm not sure toasting could provide sufficient energy during your day. I recommend more complex carbs. Whoa! <laughs> kicker indeed. I recommend you shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, damn. Kicker. Oh, I did not know what this movie was. It's a movie about mental health. I used to be normal. Well, as normal as any girl under the influence of teenage hormones. She does have golem eyes. But after the killings began, I started to feel loose around the edges or something. Ooh. It's weird that this is so known as Megan Fox's movie and not Amanda Seyfried's at all. I hate this f***ing song. This is where it all went down. This does have like an 80s movie vibe. It feels 90s to me. The place is just named after a waterfall. Like Heathers and shit like that. It goes into this hole and it doesn't come out. The scientist guys dropped all kinds of things down there, but nothing ever surfaces. Oh. Maybe it's another dimension. You could drop bodies down there. Just two months ago, me, Jennifer, and my boyfriend Chip were completely normal people. What do you think about devil as a mascot? I think it's satanic and antichrist. <laughs> <laughs> People found it hard to believe that a babe like Jennifer would associate with a dork like me. 
I mean, you're a pretty attractive looking dork, you know? <laughs> Low shoulder playing at Melody Lane. You're this indie rock band from the city. I saw their MySpace page, and the lead singer's extra salty. Salty. salty? Like, not bitter? We'll pick you up at 8.30. Wear something cute, okay? Okay. Damn, she looks exactly the same today. Interesting. Sounds she's... like you're judging her physical appearance, Roxy. No, she's so hot, both <laughs> places. Those jeans are hella low. I can almost see your front butt. This boy looks 12. I know. <laughs> this is my rock look. Well, I can see, like, your womb, so... You don't know where her womb is, honey. You guys go to Devil's Kettle <laughs> High School. <laughs> anyway, the singer guy, Jennifer says he's extra salty, so... Salty. Salty. Never. Salty means beautiful. Is that what it means? You must be soy sauce, babe. Ooh, good one. <laughs> Pick up line of the year. That's why you're the drummer. We missed Valentine's Day for that. Sweetie, quit tampooning yourself and get down here. That's fucking weird. Tampooning yourself. Uh, this real slang? It's just that I like the same things that she likes. We have stuff in common. That's why we're biffs. Oh. Oh, hi, Chip. It smells like Thai food in here. Have you guys been f oh, You're gross. <laughs> you're gross. You're gross. <laughs> you're gross. <laughs> so gross. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this is weird. It's like a bingo hall with taps. You're just jello because you're not invited. Yeah, <laughs> jello. You're totally jello. You're lime green jello and you can't even admit it to yourself. Yup, jello bitch. Stop kidnapping my girlfriend. <laughs> You're lime green jello and you can't even admit it. Something tells me Chip's gonna die this movie. You look really pretty. He thinks he's cute enough for me. And that's why he's in return now. <laughs> Aged well. Hey, it's Ahmed from India. I wonder if he's circumcised. I always want to try a sea cucumber. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer Check. You shouldn't poison yourself with that shit. Is that Chris no Pratt? Way. <laughs> Just want me to arrest you for possession. You're not even out of the academy yet, Roman. Two more months. Then I'm on the force for reals. You gonna cuff me? Oh, don't do that. I can't get over this. Hey, that's a band. <laughs> I, I, I had no idea Chris Pratt was <laughs> in this movie. Okay, Adam Brody. Adam Brody's the eyeliner. in this movie. They're wearing eyeliner. They look like he went to a f goes. You are a small time gummer. I wish we had more guys like that in Devil's Kettle. Small time what? I, I don't know how, <laughs> most of the dialogue. They're I was a teenage girl. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what they're saying. And I think around this time. Uh, this movie's made me an old man. I don't know what they're talking about. These are like smart bombs. Point them in the right direction and shit <laughs> gets real. Okay. Really? Smart bombs, huh? Blue shoulder. Yeah, we've heard, I've heard about you. You play your instruments really super good. Why would you want to play all the way out here in Devil's Kettle? I think it's really important sometimes to try and connect with our fans in the shitty areas too. <laughs> Can I buy you a drink? Sure, what are we having? They have this Diet Pepsi. Red, white, and blue, but you have to drink it really fast or it turns brownish. All right, well, we'll drink it fast. Okay. She, she can't get alcohol though. Oh, honey. <laughs> <laughs> I have to be 21. I'll just play Hello Kitty with a bartender. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> like I said, I've been a teenage girl. <laughs> and I'm a 45 year old man trying to understand Jennifer's body today. <laughs> How's she going to get the alcohol, though? <laughs> Her smart bombs. <laughs> Did you miss that? Wow. You're green jello, man. The one who just went to get me a drink, the State Fair Butter Princess? Oh, yeah. That's the one. My point is, this girl's definitely a virgin. These shots are so interesting. Is she. Does she have powers? <laughs> hey, that's my best friend that you're talking about. Oh, nice. She is a virgin. And that beats sleeping with creeps like you. <sighs> Get it, girl. He's sour. I think the lead singer wants me. Only because he thinks that you're a virgin. I heard them talking. What? I'm not even a backdoor virgin anymore. <laughs> wow. I couldn't even go to Flags the next day. I had to stay home and sit on a bag of frozen peas. <laughs> 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 
They're both excellent. I know. I actually think Megan Fox is really good in this. Movie. She's always been really good. She got so screwed by Hollywood. And Amanda Seyfried is like just so incredible. Did you see the dropout? Of course not, Roxy. You're lost. I've seen Ted too. <laughs> I don't think he's really singing. I kind of do. He's very breathy. Do you think he's salty? Yeah. I mean, I'm a big OC girl. That tattoo. <laughs> oh, she does have feelings for her, huh? Oh, yeah. They're obviously both into each other. Oh, no, don't pull away. She's afraid. Why did it turn her hand green? Ooh. She's got this, like, really subtle sexiness, stillness to her. Megan Fox for the win. I don't see it. <laughs> oh, now it's a concert. Devil's Kettle. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. Is this really happening right now? I know where to go. I know where to go. <laughs> the exit door. <laughs> Use your smart bombs. <laughs> <laughs> this way. <laughs> hey. Wow, Jennifer, you didn't really seem to react to all that violence. Yeah, she's in love. Oh, thank God you guys are all right. I've been looking everywhere for you two. <laughs> oh, I wonder if he's a baddie. I want us to get to a familiar place. Okay, this okay. one's in shock. Come that. <laughs> they, they pushed the drink. <laughs> you think he was like vampire glaring her? Let's go to the van. I want to go to your really cool van. Nini, let's go no, see his van. Literally take her from the van. You're just going to let your friend go in the van. Ooh, the fire. They're being reborn. And I knew something awful was going to happen. No, yeah, obviously. Obviously. <laughs> Skinny and twisted and evil like this petrified tree I saw when I was a kid. Oh, my God. You never let your friend get in the van. Yes, just like that tree. <laughs> <laughs> oh, psycho. Yeah, the way it's shot does have this like late 80s, early 90s vibe about it. It's got like a cruel intentions flair. Totally. This is crazy. Jennifer's still with those creeps. They took her in their spooky van with the windows all blacked out. Did you get the make and model? <laughs> There's somebody here. <laughs> Jeez and fries. There's a very specific style. <laughs> There's like a rock gothic flair. So strange. Maybe I'm going crazy. energy let's go so much has happened in the last 20 minutes yeah jello explain your nickname for you now Je jello i would at least grab a weapon like a knife yeah anything baseball bat these all qualify as weapons Jello. Grab some jello. Where are your parents? Oh, it was just the sink. Boom. Whoa! She got turned, yo. <laughs> This is just another night with her and MGK, man. What happened? He's saying he didn't cheat, but I feel like, I don't know. Jen?
<laughs> Is she looking for beer? Jello? Oh, she needs meat. My mom got that at Boston Market. I'm not supposed to. <laughs> Boston Market slaps. <laughs> Bones, babe. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wicked. Jennifer. Jennifer. I'd be a little scared too, yeah. Good. Damn, you have just been thrashing her around. Jennifer! I wonder what the vampire rules are in this movie. Is that what you're thinking is happening? I thought this was a vampire movie. That's all I ever heard about it. Oh. Okay, then I'm with you. I also knew this was a vampire movie. Incredible. I hope you called the cops. Ow! What's wrong, Jennifer? Honestly, relatable. Don't tell my mom about this. I never tell on you. We're besties. BFF, the necklace. Where's it at, Monastat? What? You were you have a tendency to overreact. You remember when we were in Girl Scout camp and you totally thought that there was an earthquake, but it was just two guys with a ghetto blaster? A what? She's gaslighting. People died. Jennifer. Anybody that we know? We know everyone. <laughs> Sucks to be them, I guess. Savage. What is wrong with you? Right. What's wrong with you? Besides the obvious surface flaws. Wow. I knew it was real. I'd been up all night scrubbing the carnage off the linoleum. Why? To hide for her friend. But that's not effective. This is a dark, dark day for a devil's kettle. J.K. Simmons. Interesting. We lost eight precious students, including Ahmed from India, several parents. She wanted to suck his <laughs> <laughs> Now more than ever. Decide your teenage concerns about who's a cool dude or who's a hoe. Who's a cool dude? Who's a hoe? Are you a teacher? I love how you said hook for her hand. What's the choice there? Is it because of the fire? <laughs> no, no, I think it's because of his hand. It's a weird quirk. She barfed up this like disgusting, prickly stuff that looked like roadkill and like sewing needles mixed together. Yuck. But she probably just inhaled a whole bunch of smoke or something. Yeah. <laughs> this guy. It was like evil. Chip has Barfed no smart balloons. That's why he's so dumb. Not saying that to be a dill hole. Chip, I don't tell whoppers and I'm not crazy. I didn't say you were crazy. What are these oh. kids saying? <laughs> I don't tell whoppers. Hey, Nene. Oh, hi, Colin. Whoa, who's this guy? He looks familiar. Well, I'm glad you didn't die. Thanks. Seriously. Not even addressing Chip. How are you friends with Colin Gray? I just am. We have creative nonfiction together. He's a really good writer. He's like all dark and emotional and stuff. I love Amanda Seyfried. I'm like that too. I mean, I can relate. No, Chip, honey. I'm not all obvious about it, like a poser. Chip, you're boring. Yeah, know yourself. <laughs> Who's this guy? We saw him once before for a second. Hi. What the hell? Craig said that he always thought you and me would make a totally banging couple. Isn't that so <laughs> weird? <laughs> Which one was Craig? I think it was Chris Pratt. Oh yeah. What up, Craig? I feel my heart, Jonas. I think it's broken. Mine too. 
Oh, this will help him grieve. It's what Craig would have wanted. Yeah. Oh, Craig's a good guy. Oh, she's going to kill him? I believe that's where this is headed. Look at this lucky actor. Yeah, totally. He'll have this for the rest of his life. <laughs> I know. He just watches it every day. Why are you so warm? Shuddies. Interesting. Shuddies. That means shut up, if you didn't know. Oh, okay. Shuddies. I can't do it with these animals watching us. Jen. What? Oh, look. Mosquito. The blood from the mosquito. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. oh, my God. It's like Snow White. <laughs> They're waiting. For... What's this movie rated? PG. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Might be a hard PG-13. Oh. God. Grief is a bitch. Let it all out, kids. If you heard that and you were a teacher, would you go running? Probably. I have a hook for a hand, too. Honored to have Low Shoulder in the studio. I just hope we can convey one-tenth of their courage and spirit on our upcoming album. Oh, so he's still alive, huh? Yeah, why wouldn't he be? He's the perp. I don't know whether I mean perp or perv. Perv. <laughs> Wowie. Richard mother. What do you dream about? I dream some bad people trying to nail you to a tree <laughs> with hammers and big stakes and shit. Okay. <laughs> yup. <laughs> this movie's awesome. Come on, come on. I know, come on. Just show a little bit, would you? <laughs> Just love that she went randomly swimming in the lake. Yeah. I feel so scrumptious. Goody for you. <laughs> you should be happy for me because I am having the best day since, like, Jesus invented the calendar. Jesus didn't invent the calendar. Yes, he did. You take that back. Other line, hold on. We'll blow it off. It'll just be a minute. Who? Who's the needy one now? Hey. I need to see you right now. I can barely hear you. Knock it off, Camille. You knock it off. Chip your penis cheese. <laughs> what the hell? That's hell? like the famous gif. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen that. You've never seen people do the Halloween costume and they always have the lighter? No, that is really dangerous and stupid for people to do that. I gotta go. <laughs> I am a god. Okay. Fiery death trap last night, and now a cannibal psycho takes down the biggest guy in school? Come on. It's freaked hearted. <laughs> <laughs> Not freaked hearted. Freaked hearted. <laughs> <laughs> You're shaking. Oh, I'm cold. Very cold out here. Keep them warm. You want my hoodie? Oh. Chip is useless. Our town's only bar had burned to the ground, and our star linebacker was someone's snack pack. The whole pack. country got a huge tragedy boner for Devil's Kettle. Oh. You, I will change. Oh, the flowers. Showing the passing of time. What are these random people they focus on? I know. Like Chip, we figured things could only get better. We had faith. Joke's on you, life is tough. We were fucking idiots. Yep. Through the Trees has become our unofficial anthem. They have decided to release it as a benefit single. Oh no, what's going on? They used us. You take that back, needy less, Nikki. Girls. We need them now more than ever. That's enough. Clever. What a way to become famous. I'm already sick of that song. Yeah, it's really poorly produced. Do you think they put fake pimples on Megan Fox's face? Yeah, there's no way the real Megan Fox grows pimples. 
Impossible. My skin is breaking out and my hair is dull and lifeless. You still look so hot. It's like I'm one of the normal girls. Nope. Never. Possible to look normal. Are you PMSing or something? PMS isn't real, Needy. It was invented by the boy-run media to make us seem crazy. Take yeah. notes. Take <laughs> notes. I actually wanted to uh, to ask you something. You want to know if I'll go out with you? No. I don't. How do you? How do you? Just know? go ahead with the pitch. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, I feel bad. There's a uh, midnight showing of Rocky Horror at the Bijou next weekend. I don't like boxing movies. <laughs> That was random. I used to boys asking me out, Needy. He's into maggot rock. He wears nail polish. My d is bigger than his. Well, I think he's really cool. You do? Come by my place. I just got Aquamarine on DVD. It's about this girl who's like half sushi. I guess she has sex through a blowhole or something. <laughs> Wait, she's gonna kill him because cause Needy thinks he's cool? Or entrap him for Needy. Oh, well, she loves Needy. She wants Needy. Mm. Hi, Chip. Kill Chip. So, talking to your mysterious pal Colin Gray again. No, he was asking Jennifer out on a date. That's weird. It is weird. Sure, I'd like that. I went to Super Target and picked up more condoms, so. Thanks. Nice, dude. Have they had sex? I don't think so. Wow. I think he just keeps buying condoms and then keeps having to throw them out. But is she a backdoor virgin? Uh, <laughs> we can Google it really quick if you want. It's Jim and Jasmine. My mom has holiday sense, too. This is nice. She really likes him. I know. And I, he's so... <laughs> I can't wait for him to die. He's like Ashton Kutcher. Hey, don't don't diminish Ashton Kutcher. <laughs> I do love Ashton Kutcher. <laughs> oh, he's gonna die right now. I know it's gonna be beautiful. Where is she bringing him to? Is it an abandoned house? No, it looks like. Why does he seem so concerned? Because the lighting in the neighborhood changed. Okay. I think. Bring your bandana just in case, bud. I mean, it does look a little suspicious. It's really dark here. Make her come outside. But it's making Fox be worth the risk. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I don't care how scared Bring me you to are. a graveyard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Take me to a morgue. I don't care. Oh, weird. Okay, actually, I think I'd turn around now. Really? You wouldn't see this all the way through? I don't. I think I would call, text, hey, your house seems boarded up. <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't do that. <laughs> oh, she's adapted. She's going like full Dexter. Slippery swirl. Yeah, it's... Um Supposed to make it feel good for the girl. Oh, let's go, Chip. But what about yourself, Chip? Right? <laughs> you got the wrong mindset, my friend. <laughs> I think Chip will be just fine. <laughs> oh, it's like a seance. What's going on here? Ritual. He thinks it's a romantic ass gesture. <laughs> you can play mommy and daddy. So far, so good, honestly. Yeah, might as well. <laughs> Do you even know my last name? Oh. Why are you doing this? You give me such a weddy. A weddy. What does that mean? I think wet. I don't. Stress. <laughs> <laughs> Who's to say though? <laughs> Look at the parallels. Yeah. Actually, Chip's growing on me. <laughs> I know. He's growing on someone right now. I know what I mean. <laughs> now what do you mean? Uh, I can't explain. <laughs> Are you scared? I mean, I thought boys like you were really into vermin and death and shit. Nice hardware ace. <laughs> that was a good one. It's like a snake. <laughs> shit. Oh, puncture wound. God, that's so... Emo. I need you frightened. I literally hate watching this. Oh, is she like connected? 
<laughs> oh, yeah. What the hell? I think she's connected in some way to Jennifer. Because of what? I don't know. <gasps> Wow, gnarly. I feel bad for the people who had to light those candles. I Continuity know. on them. It's tough. <laughs> oh, Chip, you're misreading this whole situation. Chip thinking he's giving a woman an orgasm. I know, Chip <laughs> thought he was rocking the hell out of this situation. Am I too big? Yes, Chip. That's the problem. <laughs> Is this something I did? <sighs> cool. That's... That was a sick shot. That's <laughs> a good effect, Dan. Nice. So this is the only real vampire aspect of her is that she sucks blood. I think, well, she needs blood to live, yeah. But she doesn't turn anybody into vampires. She can be in the daytime. Different set of vampire rules. <laughs> wow, if you're Chip right now, you're feeling like butthole. It's an interesting movie because it's like not just a vampire film. It's a high school adolescent film at totally, the same time. Yeah. Totally, totally. 100% my vibe. No, pull it together. Is she gonna come up on the car? Oh. No. I don't know. I'm getting scared. Wow, what an entrance. You were right. You're a terrible friend, Jennifer. I don't know, I'm kind of feeling like Needy's a little bit bad friend too. <laughs> <laughs> Why? She's got to help her bring her to the emergency room. <laughs> that won't do anything. All right. I'm just going to go to bed. Hi. Hey, <laughs> needy enough with the screaming. You're such a cliche. I'm not going to bite you. Is that my evil dead t shirt? That's your question. Yeah, she loves you. Good for them. But I feel like Needy really loves the other girl. The other girl really is just using her. The other girl's name Jennifer. There you go. <laughs> In case you forgot the name of the movie. <laughs> I was like, Megan, 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 what's her name? <laughs> Megan's body. <laughs> Yeah, Needy loves Jennifer. And they really had them go at it, huh? What the f is happening? Oh my god. <laughs> right, yeah. Okay, so you remember the night of the fire? I got really messed up. And those guys from Low Shoulder? Totally evil. <laughs> Agents of Satan with really awesome haircuts. All right, let's see what happened here. Are you even sure she's a fucking virgin, man? Oh, they have to be virgins to turn them. So they drove me out to the falls, and I kept looking for a way to escape, but it's really dark out there. Oh, so do you think she's been going after virgins? Oh, good question. We got a wax in the moon tonight, you guys. It's just like the ritual set. Oh, interesting. So they do like witchcraft, but they're not vampires. Right, but get it nice and tight, though, because I don't want to get fucking clogged. Uh. Oh, do they throw her into that hole? Oh, I forgot about the hole with the ping pong balls. Do you want to be a big loser, or... Do you want to be rich and awesome like that guy from Maroon 5? Everyone wants to be like Adam Levine. Every, everyone wants to be Maroon 5. We come here tonight to sacrifice the body of... What was your name again, Tiffany? <laughs> My name is Jennifer. Super. Don't tell them. Please, please don't do this. I'll do anything. I'll do anything. Damn, never seen Megan Fox act this much. She's good. We're going to have to butcher you and bleach you. And then Dirk here is going to wear your face. But because she's not a virgin, she can't be sacrificed. Please, please, no, please. Wait a God. second, I just thought of something. Are you writing a song? I was disturbed. Jenny, I've got your number. I need to make you. Don't, don't nod your head at this. <laughs> don't change this is your awful. Number. What doing. Eight, six, oh. no. I'm clapping because I know she's going to come back with a vengeance. It should have killed me, but for some reason, it didn't. Sex saved her life. I, yes. You hear that, kids? I woke up and I found my way back to you. Sweet. But then you tried to scare her. 
And then you connected yourself to her. How? Why? I couldn't bring myself to hurt you. I mean, I'm a really good friend. You said she was a bad friend. Are you going to pay for that windshield? Huh? Good friend would. I'm it. You made it up. Oh, no way. Does your host family know you're alive? Does anyone know you're alive? Jennifer. And when I'm full, I'm like, unkillable. Like, I can do shit like this, watch. <gasps> Ew. It's really cool, just watch, look. Remember when she was eating her own hair? I hated that. It's like some X-Men shit, right? <laughs> what do you mean, when you're full? No, Needy, maybe you should talk to somebody about these disturbing thoughts. God, what a manipulator. We're all really concerned, especially Chip. I think he may be having second thoughts about you. Leave. Why would you tell her that much but not admit to eating people? I feel like Needy should have read between the lines there. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> what are you doing? Um, you said to leave. See, it's cool. I feel you, girl. Somebody doesn't want you there. You got to get out. She's a little gaslighter, that Jennifer, though, huh? I'm like Team Jennifer. Says something about you in real life. You don't want to be nicknamed needy under any circumstances. <laughs> bring a person to Satan. The sacrifice is impure. Human intimacy. She should convince everybody in town to have sex so they're all not at risk. No, that would be a finale. Would you lose your virginity if you heard that you couldn't die as long as you had sex? <laughs> Yeah. School wide announcement. Your only safety. Find him. <laughs> What's going on? You're breaking up with me? Is this about Jennifer? Yes, but I promise you this I is the last thing I need. I care about you. I don't think Jen needs to attack virgins, though. Or do you think she can take out anybody? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Jennifer's evil. I know. <laughs> I've been through the occult section at the library five times. Our library has an occult section. They're called Devil's Kettle High School. I would assume it would. If the human sacrifice is impure, the result may still be attained, but the demon will forever reside in the soul of the victim. She must forever feed on flesh to sustain the demon. Oh. Uh, so they don't have to be virgins. Oh, uh, yes. The dance. It'll be like an all-you-can-eat buffet. Yes, a feast. She's having chips on the menu. Ooh, nicely done. It's not that I don't believe you. I just don't believe this. God, this is a, a nightmare. I mean, you sound crazy. I wouldn't believe you either. I ordered your corsage. It's an orchid. It was like $12. It's pretty good for an orchid. Chip, it's not safe for us to be together right now. Aw. This movie is making me feel bad for Chip. What happened to Chip? Uh -huh. Ladies pepper spray. I can take care of myself. I've been using the Bowflex. <laughs> if you're a parent, you don't let your kid out, right? Don't eat it. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. I really have a thing against that. Oh, she like fully transforming? She has to feed, and if she doesn't feed, she's in trouble. She just fed. No, that was like yesterday, bro. Her hair's falling out. She needs blood. How often does she need to feed? How often do you need to eat? Every three to four hours. Stop <laughs> judging Jennifer. <laughs> she didn't ask for this. I like that I made up a whole storyline that she could only kill virgins. And I know, just yeah. Just created, I kind of just <laughs> believed you until the movie clarified it. <laughs> we were just like, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, that's crazy. Yeah. It's made up. <laughs> People at home probably like, nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> wow. If he used his other hand, he could have cut his throat open. I was thinking that, too. Welcome to the, the spring former. Chip, which path did you take to go? I'm confused. Mom's like, take pepper spray, but I won't drive you there. <laughs> Didn't you hear me calling your name? You know how Needy has been really upset since Colin Gray died? Wild outfit choice. I don't want to say that. Say it. Needy and Colin were intimate. <gasps> you bitch. This is how she's going to get him to hook up. I mean, they were porking on a semi-regular basis. <gasps> 
That is so messed up. She and Colin were doing things that you have never even heard of. Okay, total varsity moves. Like what? Back doors. I want to hear the live horror. <laughs> I care about you so much, Chip. More than I've ever had the guts to admit. Oh, dude, don't fall for it. If you're him, what are yeah. you doing? Oh, yeah, no, totally going through with it. <laughs> Might as well. <laughs> I mean, he's single now, right? No chip. No chip. All right. He looks like an Adam Levine wannabe. Yeah, that might be very intentional. Say I'm better than needy. What? Why? You're going to be so mad at me right now, but boys are so stupid. <laughs> Why would I be mad? Of course they are. <laughs> He's just taking her word for it. And yeah, she's I know. being clearly and like yeah. Needy just told him. Uh, yeah, no, it's totally obvious. Oh, it's she feels it. How are they connected like that? I don't understand this. <laughs> I mean, when are they gonna get their come up and they gotta die? Mm. Put two and two together, man. Come on, Chip. Show me a breaststroke. Get there, babe. She just takes off the whole dress. <laughs> Do you want to see Chip die or no? Uh, kind of. <laughs> Not as strong as before. I can't. Now you can't? I'm sorry. This, this just feels weird. Oh, shit. But what are you going to do? Just yell some dialogue at her, I think. And if he did kiss you again, were you going to keep him alive? <laughs> One flower. Corsage. Don't stop. Keep going. <laughs> There's no rest period here. <laughs> but it's an orchid. That's $12 worth of orchid right there. What is she, a gymnast? Oh, nope. <laughs> yes, yes, she is. Ah, <laughs> oh, there he is. Ah. Uh, oh, he's going to bleed out. I try to get out of the water, guys. Try to warn you, Chip. Definitely infected now. Oh. What is she becoming? Pepper spray. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Whoa, she got a whole new set of powers here. Fly. She's just hovering. Yeah, but kind of looks dope. It's not that impressive. But do you have to undermine everything that I do? You are such a player hater. <laughs> Why do you need him? You could have anybody that you want, Jennifer. So, why Chip? Because you want. Or is it because you're just really insecure? <sighs> oh, good one. I was the snowflake queen. Two years ago, when you were socially relevant, when you didn't need laxatives to stay skinny. Mm. Wow. Get her. I am going to eat your soul and shit. It's out, Nikki! Thought you only murdered boys. I go both ways. Whoa, Chip. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> it didn't seem to do much. I got a tampon. Huh. You seem like you might be plugging. <laughs> Why is she so happy to? <laughs> oh. oh, Chip going to die. I don't think so. No, nah, he's definitely dead. Oh. <laughs> definitely dead, yeah. There's no way he survives this. <laughs> I'm going to get some help, okay? You have a flip phone. Use it. It's probably all wet and broken. What about hers? <laughs> Stop working. 
No, 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 you're not going anywhere. No. Yes, I you're fine, honey, you're fine. I think I already died before you got here, but I woke up when I heard your voice. Oh, that's actually really sweet shit. I love you. I love him too. He's gonna be okay. <laughs> Don't hold out hope, Roxy. And you look totally hot in that dress. You're really delirious. Put Band-Aid on it. No! He's fine. No! <laughs> post credit scene. He's good. How are we going to kill Adam Brody? I don't think the movie's going to do it. Look at the range of motion. I'll use this for a lot of tour more models. There. I used to do that. Like, circle people's picture. Total hottie. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Okay. And of course, yeah. Don't eat your hair. She should have gone back to the dance to feed. She didn't need any more. You don't understand how hunger works. I think I do. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? You killed my fucking boyfriend, you goddamn monster. She swore. <laughs> uh. Yes. Thought it would be more clever. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> what is happening here? <laughs> oh, I wonder if that's what kept them connected. Yeah, it must be. It must be. But that's so weird that that would have... Whatever, I'll accept it. Yeah, grunge. Oh, no. She's going to be looked at as just a murderer now. What? <laughs> no. The blood pooling in the neck. Really good. Where's Jennifer's mom? Oh. Ask and you shall receive. Oh my god. Oh my god. <gasps> oh, that sucks. And she has to suffer through all this now. That does suck. And now Needy's gonna be blamed for eating the bodies and stuff. Oh, she's in the she's in the asylum. I'm a different person now. A person who uses curse words and kicks orderlies and sees things that aren't there. Nice. Just might get lucky for once in your miserable life. Wow, there clearly should have been a Jennifer's body too with her. Let's go. Needy's body. Oh, cool. Needy's body. Go kill Adam Brody. Is this the only power she got? Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, she's got like all kinds of powers, but I guess she doesn't need a feed. Oh, so I guess that stuff that they do dump does go somewhere. Do you think she killed the mom? No. So why'd she ditch the murder weapon? Uh, but that was a different murder weapon. Oh, that's not the box cutter. You're right. You're yeah. right. That's why they had that line for yeah, yeah, viewers yeah. like yourself. <laughs> that was a bad moment for me, for sure. East towards Madison. Up in my chariot. I know this guy. Following this rock band. Must be one hell of a group. Lance Henriks. Tonight's going to be their last show. Henderson. Oh, she's going to kill the band. All right, cool. Yeah. Low we, shoulder. <laughs> we should see that. There should be another movie. This is awesome. Dope. Oh, my God. There's more. They became Maroon 5. This is their last show. Okay, okay. 
There it is. They kept filming. That's good. This was a different time in the early 2000s where they were not afraid to show what the entire sequel was in a post credits <laughs> I feel like there's a longer version of this movie out there. All right. Wow, I'm really into the soundtrack. What did you think, Roxy Stryer? That was awesome. I mean, like I, I we've heard great things about it, but I didn't know if it had just been overhyped. And not all of the powers or like full extent of things make complete sense, but it's so good and fun that I don't really care. Yeah, that's probably the best way to put it. It just I, like didn't bother me that all of a sudden you can float. I don't care. That's great. Let me see it. Yeah, I had no idea what to expect going in. Uh, all I heard was that it was a f- a fun movie, and that Megan Fox is actually really good in it. <laughs> That's all I ever heard was Megan Fox is actually. People say it's a vampire movie, and I feel like that term is used so loosely. Yeah, what would you film. say after watching it? Is this a vampire film or no? It's probably the most efficient way to describe. It's the same way people call Last of Us a zombie show, where you're like. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of a zombie thing, but... That's not a zombie show, though. I know, but it's like the easiest way to explain right, it. Right, but do you want me to explain to you why it's not? <laughs> Please don't. I, you don't need to I'm tell me. I'm actually going to tell you about the spores. Um, do you understand fungi? I'm going to tell no? you about the fungi infections and how it really spreads. Uh, no, this, I, I I understand why people would say it's a it's a vampire thing. Completely. Because it's like, okay, yeah, she feeds off people, but... That sets you up for a whole different kind of movie, I think, when, when someone says that. You think you're going to go into, uh, you think there'd be a little bit more rules associated with it and whatnot. But Totally. And then I wrote the entire movie. I, I appreciate that. That did not at all affect my viewing experience. <laughs> I did not at one bit go, oh, yeah, she's right. They're targeting all these, like, jock virgins in here. Uh, th- that was not the film at all. I do feel like there's a longer version out there. You know what? I'm very curious. I'm going to just quickly Google right now. You were saying that a longer version currently exists or there's a longer cut to have been made left on the cutting room floor? I feel like there's probably, I mean, I feel, yeah, the the latter. Okay. Um, I feel like there definitely could be a sequel that would be awesome to this. Not that everything needs an effing sequel. This movie is just great as it is. Ooh, yeah, Jennifer there, there, extended there version. is an extended version. Yeah, I had a feeling. There were parts of the way the movie was edited, and knowing this director's other work, I'm like, I bet this movie actually breathed a little bit better and took its time in more scenes. Why didn't we watch that version? Oh, because I didn't know it about it until five seconds ago. <laughs> I just had a guess. Sorry. What happened there, huh? What happened to the ball on that one? I could have I could have pulled that one up. No, I actually thought that this was so tight, though. Like the the cut, the edit was really, really tight, solid. There, was none of the things that were so, kind of strange edits bothered me. It was just like, oh, okay, I'm going to fill in the blanks here, and sometimes I filled in the blanks wrong. Yeah, but that's we're really okay. good at helping the movie out and throwing a good alley oop to the film. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like my adjustment it was an interesting choice. I think it could have helped helped to flesh it out, uh, the world a little bit more. I think this is one of those movies that I think, too, would also be cooler on a rewatch because there was a lot more thematically going on on its mind than I was. Ex- I, I, I thought it would be a little bit more just of a straightforward, like pulpy, sexual thriller kind of film. And it wasn't. I was like, OK, there's a lot of commentary about a- adolescent angst. And this also uh, what people will do to sell out for fame and, and, and striving for that. And even Jennifer was. Because I didn't even get at that sense until the very end with her and Needy, when Needy was saying how she used to be popular and how she takes laxatives now to stay skinny, all these things. I didn't pick up on any of that from Jennifer throughout the movie, that that was something she sort of craved. Did you? No, I agree with that. I do think that like if we're really dissecting this, Jennifer's character seemed super popular at the beginning, super popular in the middle, and super popular by the end. She's yeah. always being asked out by the hottest people. Anybody she talks to will go anywhere with her. She can convince anybody of anything. In class, everybody kind of like knows that she's the bitchy popular girl. So then when, when Needy all of a sudden is like, two years ago... Yeah. When was, you were relevant. Right. Like, I, was, I thought you'd been relevant this yeah, whole time. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely, definitely. Uh, again, like, didn't really bother me, but if they wanted to pepper that in a little more, if that was supposed to be the big reveal, like, she used to be cool, now she's not, that's why she's doing all this. Yeah. I really feel like it was because she was in love with Needy, and sure. she and she was really the Needy one. Ah, uh, yes, well done. 
Yes, yes. <laughs> See, some of my points are sound. I'm very impressive. Very impressive. Let's see if you can maintain that through the rest of our conversation now. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> fine. Let me throw it back at you before I think about something brilliant. Do, at the end of the day, who did you like better, Jennifer or Needy? I mean, Jennifer is the more captivating performer to watch, I think. I think Needy is the more fleshed out character, the one with more dimensions. I would say, though, that like I, I get why people talked about but she's kind of utilized like that way in, in the film itself. They want her to be a bit mysterious and for when she's on screen to really count. Like, Needy's the, the, the character with the character arc. She's mm -hmm. the one who really develops. She's the one with more exploration. And I do think this movie was a little, had a little too much on it. That's why I, I'm actually very, I feel like we should just watch the extended cut. I wish I was aware of that before filming. Why didn't uh, we do that? Because I didn't know about it until after we were done filming the reaction <laughs> to the theatrical cut. It's uh, so strange. <laughs> so, <laughs> should we start again? No, 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 no. Let's keep this train rolling. Um, <laughs> should we put the I movie got, on the extended uh, version? I'm, I'm, I'm okay right now. We, we got this. <laughs> so maybe we could just find the extended cut scenes and I'll just implement it into the reaction. So yeah, I, I do think that because with, with all they had on their mind, there were. There are times where it was kind of zigzagging for me where I'm like, I'm not sure what to really focus on. But what I thought that this movie had going so well for it was they had this, that angsty, grungy, like gothic, dark tone throughout. And because of its strange, ethereal teenager vibe, its tone was always keeping me interested. Even when I was like, okay, this is kind of, a bit of a zigzagging experience because I was like, all right, is this really going to be about Jennifer and Needy's friendship? Is that what this is really mm -hmm. about? Is this going to be about them evolving as teenagers? Uh, you know, ex like what are the parallels between adolescence and, and this morphing of mutation she's going through? There were, there were so many things that I thought they wanted to comment on. And uh, was it always the smoothest? No, but was it always entertaining? Yes. And I think at the end of the day, with a movie like this, that's what counts the most. Is like it was a very, very entertaining film. Like I was never bored one second. Totally, the whole time I was like, "What do you think's happening here? What do you think's going on next?" <laughs> um, and I was very entertained too. Also, I think that I am more willing to be lenient with movies like this because give me a teenage girl movie and I watch it ten out of ten times. Like I love coming of age films. I love things that take mm. place in high school. I love the juxtaposition between Jennifer and Needy and like how they are navigating their way through school and, and one of them being much more just like classic mean girl and the other one being the nerdier one, both of them being super hot though and actually neither of them being nerdy in any way, shape or form. <laughs> yeah. uh, I love that. Like I'm a big CW free form head. So mm. not that this is like that because obviously this is a, a more intense I know horror people hate the word elevated now, but elevated version of that, mm -hmm. uh, which I appreciated. The I think if they were going to try to spice it up a little bit, we could have improved some of our B and C characters. Like we got both of their moms for a second at one random point, yeah. um, but uh, nothing, no idea about really either of them. And then we got the brother of Crispy Guy. What was his name? Chris? Chip. Chip's uh, sister made an appearance and it was like take pictures with your sister and it's like what happened there uh and then i guess his mom was in it for a second even chip just in general Colin, we didn't get to know that much the dude that was the jock that had the best day of his life with megan fox before he got eaten alive as lasagna like all these yeah. kind of characters where it's just like okay that's there's not that much there you know i'm not rooting yeah. for any of them at all so it doesn't really matter what happens to them I think what they could have done, going off what you're saying, is make the town, because there was so much emphasis on what the band did and then the town coming in. I mean, uh, what the band did and how it shined a spotlight on the town, blah, blah, blah. And I think if they made the this small town vibe feel more alive and see how they're really being affected by it. Because like when when they when they're talking with Chris, not crispy man now you got the stuck in my head Chip, uh, Chip <laughs> uh, when Chip's mom is like here's the pepper spray have you seen about the the kids being murdered I was like I wasn't even really aware that the town Down was new. aware about the murders of these of these boys that was happening and I think if we witness some of how the town was being affected and changing by these circumstances and events that just would have helped it feel a little bit more lived in. Um, you know where I'm thinking that might be? Where? 
Wear what? The extended cut. <laughs> yeah, probably, yes. <laughs> no, you are not incorrect at all. I, I do think that if there if there's something in there, it probably is that. Like the reveal that this man is lasagna in the forest. We see his parents kind of see it, but we don't see yes. the news going around. Uh, we have that one radio station. That was kind of interesting, too, that you got 80s vibes at the beginning. I got 90s vibes. Then we start seeing the flip phone. We hear the cars from 2003. Yeah. You know, like, okay, this is actually a 2000s movie, but it did really have nostalgic 90s vibes to me. Well, yeah, it was kind of like those movies. Um, I mean, I, I forget the eras of them. Movies like, I've seen movies like Heathers. Have you seen Heathers? Mm -hmm. Heathers 80s. Like Heathers, and then I thought of, I haven't actually seen Cruel Intentions, but everything I've seen of Cruel Intentions, so I was kind of getting the vibes of. Yeah, no way. I haven't seen Cruel Intentions. That's one of my favorite five movies of all time. Really? That's top five? I think so, yeah. What are the other five? Four. Goodwill Hunting, Princess Bride, Role Models, Cruel Intentions, uh, Wizard of Oz. <laughs> like you had to squeeze Cruel Intentions Greece. in there. <laughs> no, no, it's really. Like it, you were like, it's definitely. I said Cruel Intentions, so I'm going to mention no, Cruel Intentions. No, it's definitely a top ten. If you've heard, for years, I've been telling. I love that movie. Yeah, I, I never, love, love, love that movie. It is so it. good. It did have kind of Cruel Intentions vibes, except that's not a horror movie. Although the stuff that's happening is after. Yeah. yeah. After. But sort of that like surreal offbeat path in the high school that I thought this movie was uh, at least aiming to do, I, I was appreciating that because there were some interesting directing choices. I thought. Did you think it was scary? Not really. No. Was it like would to you be? would you call this a horror movie? That's that was the fun part about trying to see what I like genre categorize it as because it's I'm like I guess it's a horror movie thriller it, it, more. It's like a supernatural high school movie <laughs> kind of thriller because like they have moments where they were going for horror but it never felt truly like a full-blown horror movie mm. i am very curious what that extended cut is like now what do you think maybe this is answered in the extended cut but what do you think the deal with swirly is what's swirly the water that was going oh the actual swirly yeah yeah the yeah, swirly yeah. thing and then we see where it comes out but like that kind of has nothing to do with the plot of the movie at all uh, right. Yeah, I, th I thought like Jennifer would be dumping bodies in. Yeah, there. me too. Like at some point we were gonna see like I guess the knife pops out there, but the fact that the scientists have been searching high and low and can't figure out where it is, but it's just going out to the street. <laughs> like, yeah. out to the street. I'm like, oh, there's a clear spot right here. Did uh, you see all the balls and stuff? Like, what is the what was the deal with that? Is that where the supernatural powers come from, or maybe it's the type of commentary about you know like when we descend to the depths of hell. Everything eventually rises to the surface, Roxy. You're, uh, you're John right now. <laughs> no, I'm just full-blown Greg. <laughs> no. Come um, on. It works. about the depths of hell. Yeah. Okay. It works. It's what it, come on. It kind of works. I can justify this movie's themes <laughs> and, and messages. It, it did, again, it didn't really bother me because it didn't distract me from anything else, but it's just like that was an interesting choice that we spent time on this swirly thing that really had nothing to do with yeah. anything. We didn't put the bodies there. We didn't say that that's where the powers came from, even though maybe you could jump to think that. Yeah, you know what? I got I got fun. Uh, Jennifer's body. What's something like you Google? Extended cut no. differences. Uh, we could do that or we could just go unanswered questions. Oh, okay. Facts and expert answers. Is there a deeper meaning to Jennifer's body? Hmm. Fe feminist film theory explained that in the male subconscious, female power is inversely proportional to male power. Therefore, they cannot coexist because of the fear of emasculation. Mm. The more power a woman gains, the more she is dehumanized and then punished. Interesting. <laughs> I agree. Do you concur? Yes. Uh, agree. Yeah. I don't think female power it like makes me feel less than, so I prefer women do not have power. You wrote it yourself. I did submit an article to uh, feministtheory.com. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Was Jennifer attracted to needy? Yes. Written by a feminist, Diablo Cody. Uh, Interesting. Doesn't really answer the question. What else did Diablo Cody write? Uh, oh, yeah, that's a good question. Let's oh. see. Also love the line, written by a feminist. Written by a, <laughs> a self-proclaimed feminist. This too. can't be anti-feminism because it's written by somebody who claims they're a feminist. I guess it's fem is, is it fe a 2009 film. I don't really look at it as like feminist or not feminist. I just like the movie. Yeah. I didn't really see it as like anything that was. Oh, he did Tully. I love fucking Tully. 
Madison Tower. Oh, it's a good one. Wait, wait, go up. Go up, go up, go up. Like down? No. Uh, up? up. I want to say the most. <laughs> <laughs> Tully, Jennifer's Body, Juno, <laughs> Young Adult. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. So they do write a lot of these like coming of age stories. Mm-hmm. Okay. Totally. I mean, overall, it was a fun film with a lot of exciting visual motifs. Good soundtrack. I was so into the soundtrack. That was one of the best parts for me. I could tell you're really digging on that soundtrack. You know what I also really loved? The costumes. It was very, very early 2000s. Yes. With like the juicy, the jean skirt, the um, just the like stripes on the tops. Yeah. The polos for the guys. All that too. Very much was aware. What was your favorite of outfit? The outfit. You know, when she was wearing the Evil Dead shirt. Uh-huh. Is this the part of the video where you try to burn your tongue? Or <laughs> I think YouTube would get mad at us for trying to do that. They'd be like, you're, you're encouraging kids to try dangerous things. It was crazy how her tongue like almost immediately got black and disintegrated. It was a good effect. Yeah, it was cool. I've never seen that. Is it GIF? GIF? What's yeah. The word? yeah. How do you say it? GIF? GIF? It's graphic, so GIF, but I think they said that it's GIF. Huh. They're really messing with us. Uh, yeah. A lot of good slang in here too. Okay, what's your favorite? Salty. Yeah, never heard that before. I loved Jello, man. I'm I not know. letting Jello go. I've never heard that ever applied in any context in my life. Green Jello. Do people? Do kids talk like that? Did you talk like that in high school? I do feel like this movie made up a ton of terminology that at the time, if it had, if I had seen it when it came out, I would have used. Okay. For sure. Yeah, one of those. Because what did this year? Did this drop in 2003? 2009. 2009. Yeah. Okay. We have IMDb right in front of us. Yeah. Yep. See it now. <laughs> <laughs> even as you said that, I was like, we're not even on this movie. <laughs> it's literally right there. In 2009. So I was graduating high school that year. Okay. So I for sure. So she says. What? Yeah, it's, it's all been a lie. Yeah. 2001. That's when Roxy graduated high school. Yeah, I'm a vampire. I stay so young because of all the blood that I suck. <laughs> you really sold that. <laughs> well. But I definitely, like, if I had, if this had come out and they had been saying things like salty and I saw a guy that I thought was cute, I'd be like, mm, he's salty. Definitely. It's just, when you say someone's salty, I'm like, that just sounds uh, off-putting to me. Totally. Now we use, salty. now yeah. salty is used as, like, they're bitter like mad exactly. about something yeah but yeah. jello that's a really good one. Oh my god you're green jello you could never wait what is jello used in the in as jealous yes you're so jello you're so jello you're actually the green jello that's how feminists write movies apparently yeah i do wonder how he came <laughs> up with some of this terminology was he just like hmm. isn't diablo a woman oh really oh that makes more sense then oh wait no i'm not sure johnny who later became her I don't yeah, know. yeah. Okay. I think so. It says writer, producer, actress. Okay. We don't know the uh, gender identification. This is interesting that her name or their name is uh, Devil. Oh, really? Is that what Diablo stands for? I think so. <laughs> Isn't that? You know what? I need to stop like <laughs> believing you <laughs> on things because I'm always like, oh, how fascinating. <laughs> Diablo <laughs> name meaning. Spanish for devil, you <laughs> nailed it. Oh, Way damn. To go. Diablo. That's cool. Oh, clever. Yeah. I mean, I like supernatural horror stuff. I guess I would still categorize it as that. It for was, sure. It was doing a lot, but I thought Megan Fox was excellent. She was so, like, she was seductive, but beyond that, she had some great scenes where this is the most, the most I've ever really believed her, like, fully believed her in every scene she was in. Well, what else are you comparing it to? Transformers? You know, Transformers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, I saw this one movie she did with Simon Pegg ages ago where she was fine in it. Uh, what about Amanda Seyfried? I don't know her work too well, other than, like, Mean Girls and Ted 2. I, like, I, I always assume Amanda Seyfried's a great actress. She's so, so good. I thought they were both very believable, and I thought they had great chemistry. Some of my favorite scenes are just them together. And I wish the movie kind of did more of that, was was just them hanging out, because I thought they had really great chemistry. They did. I, I think it's really difficult for to do what Megan Fox did here, which was, like, be believably an utter bitch. Yeah. Like, it's actually the way that she did it, um, but you still kind of 
love her character. She well, really nailed it. I felt like she, they both had the right pitch of tone for what the director wanted to go for with this film. Definitely. Because you need a certain type of surrealistic heightened tone, but you can't overdo it or else it becomes un- like not believable. Mm-hmm. And I think with two very different performances, they both found that right middle ground in order to make it still believable in a heightened reality. She was the, the Regina George of this movie. Yes. In a lot of ways, yeah. You have seen Mean Girls? Yeah, yeah, I love Mean Girls. It's really good. Yeah, is it one of your top five favorite movies? No, Cruel Intentions. <laughs> yeah. But Mean Girls is up there. Legally Blonde is up there. Yeah, it's You good. seen that one? Yeah, yeah. Okay, just check it. Okay. <laughs> have you seen The Matrix Revolutions? <laughs> no, I only saw the first Matrix. I only saw it this year. I know. This year, 2023? That they said 22. Yeah. In the last year. I'm being very technical here to throw you after Yeah, I feel I, like, wow, when did you turn on me? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Sorry. All right. No, usually I try to help you out. How are we going to expect them to love me when I can't even get you to? <laughs> no, I got you. I got wow, you covered. the pain, the horror. <laughs> oh, twist the knife. Well, uh, what would you rate it out of 10? Then we'll call it a night. I just died, and you didn't even care. I know. <laughs> I just played to the bit of me not caring. I was <laughs> uh, Out of 10... Maybe an eight and a half. I really like nice. that. Really yeah, high. I really like that. That's really high. Yours are not as high. Hmm? What's yours? I guess 7.5. Okay. Really good. Yeah. That's solid. Yeah, 7 to 7.5. It's going down a little bit. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> like a 6.75. So <laughs> you think it's a four and a half? <laughs> it's going, it fluctuates. No, I thought that was awesome. I lo- I enjoyed the hell out of that movie. Have you seen The Invitation from no. the movie she did? No. The, oh, that is one of my favorite horror movies. Really? Yeah. So this isn't as good. It's a, what I appreciate is it's like The Invitation is, if you want to talk about elevated horror, that is, it is, it is so, like, such a slow build. It is entirely, like, so slow. And you, you're, the whole time you're like, I don't know what's go- where this movie's going, but I am uncomfortable and I don't even know why. Who's in it? Um, have you seen Upgrade? Mm-hmm. Mm, the the tech one with a uh, dude Tom. Not Tom Hardy, Hardy but it looks like Tom Hardy. Logan Marshall Green is. Oh, the okay, then maybe I think I saw it on an airplane. That's how you watched it. I think so. Who we're talking about for a while, and then I think I saw it there. Oh, what a terrible way to experience that. I actually don't know how much I. I think I saw it. I don't remember movies perfectly. That's the truth about me. I remember everything about TV shows. I, I, movies I do not remember. Movies I do have a hard time recalling, especially if I'm under a certain type of influence. Tired. Yeah, that's what it is. I'm very tired. <laughs> Sometimes in life you're just hot and tired. It's tired. You're in a good mood, but tired. <laughs> you know how it goes, guys. Uh, yeah, that he's in it. But it's really, it's a great film, and it's very much like, not this, but it's it's super slow. And is the guy from Upgrade an invitation or? What yeah, yeah, him? yeah. And he's, uh, I thought he was phenomenal. When I met him, that was the first thing I told him was like, your work, your performance in the invitation blew my mind. Why'd you meet him? I was at the premiere of Upgrade. You're so fancy. Yeah, yeah. You've like interviewed super famous people though. Have yeah. You interviewed Bohemian Rhapsody people. Yeah, I did do that. In Vegas, they flew me there on a private jet. It was crazy. Really, private jet? Yeah. Good for you. With the cast. And then I was front row to see Queen and got to hang out with uh, Brian May and Roger Taylor. Oh, you've clearly ridden that momentum all the way to this channel. <laughs> and that's how I got here. <laughs>